It is officially championship season. Good morning, Preps fans. I'm Ashley Moore. And as the winter season comes to an end, we have state championship after state championship. And to kick us off in possibly the best atmosphere I've seen this year, 2024 that is, is the JASA State Swim and Diving Championships. The Brewfield Eagles getting us ready for the championship competition at VMAC. Every team vying for this gold trophy right here. Broomfield would actually take home second overall in Class 4A. And shout out to Carly Chandra for winning this backstroke heat. But this weekend also had a lot of first-time individual winners. Like over at Monarch, Eliza Lennox won the 150 free. And look at her teammate right here. No one was even close. Monarch's Audrey Shambo would go on to win the 100 breaststroke with a time of 104.34. Here are both girls after their big wins. Feels it feels so amazing. Like we won the medley relay last year, but like winning an individual event is just like so much different. It's um, like you feel more like I, I love my team, but it makes me feel so much more accomplished being able to do it on my own. Hey, like looking at it being like, hey, I did that. To get in the pool and compete by yourself for yourself um, is a totally different mindset. And it's something that I never, like a goal I set for myself that I never thought I'd achieve. Um, and to make it this year is just crazy. Like I wish I could tell my like eight year old self that was getting in the pool, like you got this, like there's so much that you're gonna be able to do. Well, overall, Pine Creek won the 4A team state title in part to a mega performance from this girl, Junior Madison Menteco. Friday night, Menteco broke her own 4A state records in the 200 meter free. And here's the moment she beat the 500 freestyle record by three seconds. And that's just three seconds shy of Missy Franklin's overall state record. Now we caught up with Menteco about breaking more state records in back to back seasons. It's always like full of hard work the whole season and all the girls on the team they work so hard and I could never do what I do without their love and support and being able to watch them win relays and being able to watch them win heats no matter what heat it is is the best motivation that I can get for anything that I do and being able to break my own records in the process is just something that's super awesome that I get to share with them. Well, in the 4A Diving Championships from Nywat High School, Izzy Faye is your champion. She finished with a score of 538.3 and just as a junior had the highest score at the end of the prelims, the semis, and of course the finals. Fossil Ridge's Sydney Oveson took home the 5A gold. But over in 5A swimming, yeah, the championships, it came down to the final race, the 400 meter relay with Regis Jesuit in front by just seven points. Cherry Creek needs to win this race to win the title. So let's get to the final lap. And take a look at there. No one's even close. Cherry Creek touches home first with a time of 324.99. And once again, the Bruins are on the mountaintop, taking home the Class 5A state championship. Here's one of their brightest stars, Charlotte Wilson. Before we walked over, I was like, guys, it, it's, it's this relay. It comes down to this relay. And, you know, and whatever you do, I'm super proud of you. But, you know, we got we to gotta swim so fast. It doesn't matter if it hurts, you just got to push through it because this is the final points. These are the final points that we can score. Listen, shout out to the coaches for participating in the team plunge afterwards. But more on Wilson just for a moment. She competed in the 100-yard backstroke. It was just 0.6 seconds off of Missy Franklin's record. But don't worry, Wilson is headed to the back to back to back national championship swim team, the University of Virginia. So shout out to her for finishing on top and we'll have more state swimming and diving coverage tomorrow morning. Well, state championships are one thing, but let's go national over to national signing day. On Wednesday, hundreds of Colorado high school athletes made one of the biggest decision of their lives. And we were there from school to school saying goodbye to yet another phenomenal class. the culmination of a lifetime of hard work, National Signing Day. Oh man, it's super exciting, um, dream come true. The first ceremony came a whole day early as 23 Chatfield Chargers couldn't wait to put their pins on the dotted line, signing off as the last class affected by COVID. All going through COVID together, it's been a journey and I'm, I'm never going to forget about them and I'm just excited to see what comes next. Of the five football players to sign is Chatfield DB Dagan Myers, headed to Colorado State, just like his dad, Greg Myers, one of the greatest CSU football players ever. He was a factor in it, obviously, um, good and bad. Um, but uh, so 
really, it's a cool thing to be able to go up there. It's changed a lot. They've told me it's changed a lot, but uh, I'm looking forward to it. Over at Columbine, 14 seniors headed to play at the next level, like Golden Helmet winner and state champ MVP Josh Schneider, who's staying close to home at the School of Mines. Well, my parents went there, so I, it's just a perfect fit overall. It's close to home. Um, great academics, uh, winning football. I want to go there and win a national championship. So, Three of the state championship rebels will all soon be ore diggers. And in the tradition of staying together on the volleyball court, teammates Mackenzie Green and Avery Haynes are both headed to McPherson College. Well, we're cousins, so it's amazing that we get this opportunity to go together because this has been our dream forever, like ever since, since we've been growing little. up. I never thought I was going to make it D1. Ah, National Signing Day, where your dreams become reality, like over at Rain Mountain. 11 student athletes signing, including five football players, three headed to Colorado Mesa, and two to Northern Colorado, like quarterback Blake Westland. No QB next year. I'm playing linebacker and everything. Um, I want to get in. I want to work. I want to be a leader on the team. Speaking of sticking together, over at Thomas Jefferson, it was a packed house as three of their 10 signees are headed to Western Colorado, like athlete Jake Tapia. You know, the crazy part is, is that us three, uh, we were the starting freshmen that played for the state game in the freshman year. But then at Thunder Ridge, nine athletes put pen to paper in sports like football, baseball, basketball, and cornhole? It's crazy. It's groundbreaking. It's new. It's making history. Um, I just never would have thought picking up this hobby about two and a half years ago um, would turn into a D1 scholarship uh, and a five-star recruitment to this school. Over at Pomona, five athletes sharing the spotlight, including Oklahoma State commit and three-time state wrestling champion Perseus Gomez. It's a trailblazing event for myself and just creating a a path for younger generations of female wrestlers as well. Well, if you didn't know, the Super Bowl is tomorrow. The Chiefs versus the 49ers and Columbine's very own coach Andy Larry, who's been in Vegas all week. You know, just the perks of winning the AFC Don Shula High School Coach of the Year Award. All right, Clips caught up with Coach Larry on the NFL Honors red carpet to talk about such an honor. Now we're here on the NFL Honors red carpet and you're here Yes, I'm on the back side of the red carpet, which I belong, so yeah, well, we're comfortable there. Yeah, the, the NFL AFC uh, Coach of the Year, that has to be some honor for you. Uh, it's been such a blessing. Just uh, There's so many people that this uh, attributes to this and a testament to it. And, you know, number one, my family and my, all my coaches and all the kids and just uh, and then being around and coaching for a long time.